guys, it's Sinam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to be taking a look at the high definition TV adapter from Samsung for this handset. And as you can see along the front of the packaging here, this outputs at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now you can pick this up here in the UK for about £26-27 and in the States it's about $36-37. So let's see what you get out of the box when you, you purchase this. So that's pretty much it, get rid of the box. And underneath, here we go, we have a, a manual. Look how thick that is, but obviously you've got the various languages there. French, English, German, Turkish, Romanian, that sort of thing. I would recommend that you keep it just for a reference, just in case. So we'll leave that to one side there. And anything else along the back? Nope. So let's have a look. This is obviously the adapter itself. So we'll leave that there. And this is the ferret core. Up close, you can essentially see that this ferret core will just wrap around the cabling of the HD TV adapter just to reduce any possible electromagnetic interference that may occur. So all you do essentially wrap it around and it clicks in like so and as you can see along the one side here you've got a micro usb cable that goes into the bottom of the galaxy s4 handset along the other side of the adapter here you've got a hdmi port as you can see which goes off towards the tv and along this side you've got a micro usb port just to cater for external power so you can charge your device while using it as well and before i move over to the tv i just want to plug in the TV adapter here to the Galaxy S4 handset and plug in the HDMI lead from the TV into this adapter here and just show you on its own it doesn't power the handset as you can see there but if I put it down and then plug in the power source into this uh, HD TV adapter there it should start powering the Galaxy S4 handset and we should see on the notifications bar there once that focuses in that it is actually charging the handset. Moving across to my TV here and you can see the HD TV adapter is still connected. The Galaxy S4 is still being charged via this lead from my computer and the TV is connected via this HDMI cable here. So if I just switch inputs from the TV to the Galaxy S4, we should see exactly what's on the screen of the Galaxy S4 on my TV monitor in the background there. So let's see how fast this is in swiping through the various home screens. As you can see, I haven't got a lot of information on those, but it is very quick indeed. Going into the app drawer, back in again, it's almost instant. I'm gonna say less than a second delay from when you press the buttons. Again, when we're in the application drawer, I haven't got very many screens at all, but going into the folders, going back out again it's very quick indeed as you'd expect from a device outputting at 60 frames per second so let's see how it handles video and let's take a look at a movie trailer i've got here for despicable me and once it starts playing oh look notice it doesn't actually play the media on the handset itself it starts playing it straight on the tv and let's see if the volume still is controllable from the galaxy s4 handset yeah you can see the volume does it matter? Still controls oh, from the handset, and let's see if we can fast forward. We'll tap through it. For example, how good does that look? That does look good. That's why we brought you. Right, baby, cruising back in the game with cool cars, gadgets. That's going to be a good film. Need to check that out. Let's have a look at another trailer I've got here for Pain and Gain, I think it is. Let's tap through it. Now I'm with seven honeys of which I can choose from. Oh my God, this guy understands. Nap a guy and take his things. Sure we can. Look how detailed that looks. We deserve bad shit to happen to him. Come on, man, what the fuck did you do that for? Okay, I need to read the manual. I don't figure it out. It oh, here, you take it. Do something bad? Maybe a little. I got my toe. You can see the bone. Let's come out of that. That looks like a funny film as well. So let's take a look at a photograph or two. Here's a screenshot that we had previously with in-game footage. Look how good that comes through there on the Galaxy S4. I do like that a lot. So let's go back. Another photograph. How awesome does that look in terms of detail? Very detailed indeed. Don't even ask why I took a picture of a monkey, but and they're comparing it to Steve Jobs. So let's see if we can turn this around. And does it rotate it on the screen? Yes, it does. Look how good that is. 
Unfortunately, the photo is taken at a 90 degrees, so that's why that looks like that. Let's see how music plays, for instance, on this. Uh, so let's go into a music application. And let's see, ooh, Jay-Z album, let's have a look. I'm just gonna turn the volume up on the actual TV. Turn the music up in the headphones. Tim, you can go and brush your shoulder off, nigga. I got you. Uh, yeah. If you feeling like a pimp, nigga, go and brush your shoulders off. Ladies, it's pimps too. Go and brush your shoulders off. Niggas, it's crazy, baby. Don't forget that boy told you, kid. Notice how it still plays the music from the Galaxy S4 even though I pressed the power button to put the f screen to sleep there and the volume is still controllable while the screen is asleep so the volume's now down. That's awesome so we'll just power that back up again. Swap to go through and what we'll do just pause that there come out of this and let's take a look at some gameplay. Here we have Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Galaxy S4 and despite me removing the cable from the power source on the HD TV adapter it's still streaming the content from the handset to the TV in the background there so I'm just gonna see how well it plays while it's paired with a PS3 controller. Check out the links down in the description if you want to know how to pair up a PS3 controller with your Galaxy S4 handset. So let's have a look. Button still working as I would expect. I am going to say there is a little bit of a delay because I'm pressing X and it doesn't do it straight away. I'll just put down the controller for a second, bring in the S4 handset, put up the volume a little bit, see how good the controls work on screen. I've got the opacity turned down so you may not see them at all, so let's have a look. 